Hello, so in this lesson we are going to work on making a new post. Alright, so we want to be able to uh, click on here and have the form show up on this page. Alright, so let's navigate to that. Command P, um, go into view, admin folder, go into post and new. Alright, so this is our new.html.erb. Let's start with um, making a form. So we say form four, and we are going to add our namespace. So this is within our admin namespace, and it's going to be for a model uh, called post, which we haven't um, created yet. And this is the end of our form, all right? If we try to run this, we should have an error message come up on the screen, but errors are good, so it's a good way to learn stuff. So the first argument in form cannot uh, contain nil or empty. So whenever you see this um, error message, know it has something to do with um, our model post. So to put something in post, uh, we are going to say post.new. So we're just creating a new post object. All right, so now if we refresh the screen, everything should be fine. All right, so to proceed with our form, we are going to add some uh, fields to it. So we are starting with a label. So this label is for our title and we end it. Put a line break, BR, and copy and paste this entire line, change label. Uh, so it says text uh, field and title is fine. We could remove the break at the end. All right, so we have title, content, publish, and we have moderators, which is a special case, and I will um, deal with that later. So we'll paste this here, select this, uh, and hold your command key, select this, and change both at the same time to content. And we're going to do the same here, change this, change this, so this is publish. Uh, this is not a text field, this is a checkbox, so it's check underscore box, and that's it. All right, so let's save what we've done and have a look. Refresh, and we have some fields. So our form is coming together fine. Um, so post has tags. So when we create a new post, it would be nice if we can select um, a few tags to go with that post. Uh, this is where it's saved, so let's see how that's done. Um, Rails has a select uh, helper, um, form options helper, um, which allows us to create um, a select. So this is what we're looking for, something uh, like this. So I'm going to go in here, create a new paragraph, and we can say uh, so f dot select so our form uh, called a select method on it and we say tag IDs so this is slightly different because we want to save multiple tags at the same time so we say tag dot all dot collect so this is just uh, looping through and returning uh, a tag and for each tag we want to get the name and the ID so the name is displayed to you, but when you click on submit, the ID is sent uh, to our controller. So we have this here, prompt. Uh, prompt is the default text that will be shown on, on our select, the first one. So we could just say something like select tag. All right, and finally, we want this to be a multiple select. So we say multiple, I'm going to make this into a named argument we just put colon in front and true so multiple true and end okay so let's save this and let's have a look we'll come over here we'll refresh and we have an error so it says i uh, could not find association post tags in a post model Okay, so that is easily fixed. So let's go into command P, model, and post. So that gives us the post. And we want to say our post has many post tags. And that's that. 
so that's this here post has many post tags that's true we didn't do that before my bad refresh this page and we have our tags so that's good okay so we're nearly there we have um, another we have a submit button now to do which is easy so f dot submit and that's it we um, we now have a complete form and we have uh, tags so we can select tags there and um, we could click on create post and this form will be sent into our controller method all right so previously we can see when we did our sessions we used uh, form tags so this is slightly different because we're not saving anything to a database there's no need for a model to be referenced anywhere here but here we had to say form four and we had to reference a post model so that's the that's the difference there so here we have form uh, we have our tags we could fill this in that that and uh, we could select multiple by holding a command key or control key and click and you can select multiple um, tags and of course it's going to change when we add our styles and add it to what we've done previously so it will have a more user-friendly um, options like this but it's still the same so it's good to have it uh, this way before uh, doing your styling so in the next lesson we are going to make the create um, post work and this is where this lesson will end and i'll see you in the next lesson